like you can't find beautiful fabrics and materials like this anywhere else. But we can keep going later. And for now, the residents of the Enchanted Castle decided to take a look at the updates. Cogsworth started twisting his clock hands in excitement. The clock is so happy. Miss Potts and Chip are on the serving table. They're clapping in their own way. <laughs> Fifi is waving her bristles. Hello. And Lumiere thanked Lalalu Craft for their creative design. Slap! Elmer's glue is all over the surface. Put printed tiles on the floor. The walls are covered in gorgeous wallpaper. It looks so beautiful. Now it's time for the rug. Add a layer of glue and sprinkle it with glitter. Fifi the broom cleaned up for us. You have a delivery. Let's look inside. Wow, there are so many ribbons here. Draw the outlines of the wardrobe walls. Add a layer of glitter. Put the piece together. There are green doors in the front. Add decorations and curved handles. A small drawer goes under the doors. Foam paper strips turned into locks. Our wardrobe is so cute and sweet. Let's decorate her with gold acrylic paint. This charming lady will go in the living room. Oh, careful! Those things might get wrinkled. I finally feel like home. We have a piece of veneer and wire. But what are the bottles for? Twist the wire like this. And make a support with carved sides out of cardboard. Cover it in veneer. There is a curved handle on the side. Add a piece of a wooden skewer. And the table is supported from the bottom. Secure wheels on the bottom layer. And there is a main tabletop on elegant supports. The serving table is happily driving Miss Potts and her baby Chip. <laughs> wow, so fast! <laughs> Draw a window shaped as an arc on thick cardboard. Boom! Decorate the opening with a net. Skewers look great here too! We just need to cover it with veneer on the outside. And glue on plastic and a view of the night sky to the back. Oh, we love watching the stars! <laughs> Tighten chiffon fabric like this. The curtains are almost weightless. Then combine veneer, a mesh peplum, and a satin ribbon. Twist glittery foam paper strips as a ring and make a decoration. Now the curtains are neatly tied so you can look through the window. 
twist wire attachments and put them inside the wall above the window. This view is so mysterious and so beautiful. Wow! Chapsticks helped us make legs. Poke holes. Install four legs, a rectangular piece, and a pair of wire arcs. We just need to put together a frame. Shape the bed. Install a headboard and a curved bottom. The bed is on steady legs. It's a great place to sleep. We just need to cover the attachment points with lilac strips. Hang a curtain made out of organza and secure it with one more element. Soft pink fabric covered a foam rubber piece. Put it on the bed. We made a soft pillow cover out of fabric and a lacy ribbon. Is it empty? Let's stuff it. This soft pillow will give you the sweetest dreams. Decorate the bed with crystals. The bed looks perfect. All Lalalu needs is a needle and thread to make magic happen. Seams gathered the fabric to make textured curtains. Now we need to add a wire. And put the corners on wooden supports. Tighten the top of the four curtains like this. And glue them to a wooden base. It looks so mysterious. Cover the wood with a layer of foam paper. We need more glitter. A gorgeous canopy goes above the bed. Decorate it with bows. Now you can sleep tight all night long and dream about beautiful things. The room looks so cute and cozy. How can we make it even cozier? <laughs> A tiny light bulb started twisting thanks to our magic powers. A ball of light clay decided to go for a walk, leaving lots of petals behind. Need green clay. How do we handle it? A wire can help trim the material. Now a thin, elegant stem will be nice and flexible. A beautiful flower bud bloomed on the top. You can see that this rose is magical. Cut out a circle-shaped support. The flower doesn't need soil because this rose is special and it can grow even under a glass dome. Decorate the support with a glittery ribbon. The rose goes in front of the bed. Now everyone who comes into the bedroom can admire its beauty. We'll have to work on these foam pieces to turn them into a beautiful lamp. Cover it with foam paper. An opening appeared in the wooden skewer. Put every detail on a wooden base. The lamps started dancing. Make a light pink color. Paint the wood. Bend the wires to make a fountain. Add a layer of acrylic paint. Put every lamp on its own attachment. The chandelier is almost finished, but we need to figure out how to hang it. A steady chain with a hook will come in handy. A beautiful chandelier is in the very middle of Belle's room. Oh, our princess will love it! You know, Prince Adam personally asked Lalalu Craft to help with the design. <laughs>